let's take a look and see how I approach the challenge. First, I created a collection called European Flower inside of JS Collections AllFlower.js. I made sure to assign my app.singleflower model to this collection. I then went over to my singleflower model.js file and added an initialize method starting on line six. I'm using this.on on line eight to watch for any instance changes of any kind. When a change is applied, it should send a message to my browser console informing me of the change. Now I chose to use the this.get method on line nine to display the instance name in my message, but this wasn't a requirement for this challenge. It was more important that you actually get a message to display in the console. The words you use to make up your message were not important. Next, I created the tantalizing tulips and Fleur de Lis model instances inside of JS flower app .js. I made sure that their names were clear and related to my variable instance names, but you could have used any instance names you wanted. It's the same situation for their prices and colors. I just picked these at random. So tantalizing tulips has a price of $10.95 on line three and a color of white on line four. And the fleur de lis price is $50 on line nine while its color is orange and that's on line 10 but you could have assigned any properties you wanted. Afterwards, on line 13 of flowerapp.js, flower group variable on line 13, and I'm using the to JSON method to display its structure. The structure will show up in the browser console. And to see all and when I expand it and look at the first object here, we see that the origin country property that we set is there. So this was a simple challenge and you may have done it differently, but the point of the challenge was to make sure you understand the relationship between models and collections and also understand that you can change their properties whenever you want to.